about that stuff? Totally yeah. legal, just, just, yeah. <laughs> you had to sign waivers. Now it's awkward. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there, right? Nobody's going to sit here, are they? Well, no, they're not. Um, hi, guys. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> hi, you got pineapples. Did they give up pineapples in the panel? Yeah. No? Yes? Yes? Okay, we don't get swag. It's all good. How are you guys? Yeah? Okay, good. So you get a, like a long day in here? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit? <laughs> Let's make it even more boring. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, hi, here we are, back at uh, back at Comic-Con. So what can we tell us about where Vic is four or five years later? Is it four? But no, we're going to say it's three. <laughs> say, I'm like, has it been four years? I, no, but it's just been three, so it's still it's still pretty bad. It's been a while. Um, Chief is she fixed the chief of San Francisco PD now. Um, obviously, when I took that job at the end of season eight, I brought Juliet with me, and she's now my head detective. She's my number. She's my number one. Um, that, but San Francisco is a much larger city. It's a much larger police force now that I have to oversee. So there was restructuring. There was. You know, coming in as a boss of a new job, especially when you weren't internal, like an internal promotion at all. So there's, you know, some growing pains. But um, she's got a new partner, and they're fantastic. Sam Worthington, who's her, who's playing her new partner, hysterical. He was so good. And um, with my luck, his, his last name better be Worthington. Because now it's going to be like Sam Pennington, and now he's a you know member of Game of Thrones or something. Um, so he's wonderful, and he was so game to play with us, and he was such a welcome addition. Um, we had a lot of fun. All the guest stars that came in, um, some of them had never seen the show before. I think uh, Richard, or no Robert, Robert never saw Lasardo. He played like the big. Batty. I don't know if anybody was in the panel downstairs. He plays El Providor. Um, he was just like, so I've never seen it before. And they were like, don't worry about it. Just know this is a wonderful place to be. If you want to try something, we are game for you to play. We just want to make everybody feel at home. Um, and hopefully they leave happy in the sense of like, that was kind of fun. So I think that's probably our our biggest thing that we want to do with the show is still have fun and still laugh, still make each other laugh. And James and Julia, it's not a problem. <laughs> just watch them. It's an interesting joke, Mr. Spencer. So I'll probably slide that into my next next trip. But uh, with Tim being gone uh, for this one, I think that's why we have to do a second one. So keep talking on, you know, <laughs> Like watch it, and then we'll need to do a second one. I think we have to. Well, there's supposed to be five more. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> I was like, Steve, why don't we do eight? Because we were on for eight seasons, so let's just do eight movies, right? Like a nice round of. We'll all be in wheelchairs. <laughs> but if we're still going, that you know, <laughs> Mr. Spencer, hold up, here I come. Um, that. Tim needs to be back in the fold with us. He's in this movie, he's absolutely making that happen. We just wanted to make sure that he was 100% or as close to 100% as you know he was ready to be. Um, I didn't want to rush anything, he needed to be there. But uh, we did work it out, obviously for him to be there. And when we were shooting that stuff, and obviously this won't be any spoilers, but when we were shooting what he was going to be, what he is going to be a part of, um, there's only one actor that was really involved with that, but the rest of the cast was off. And the rest of the cast wanted to be there for that one person and just be like, now we're all here. Now we're all here in spirit and, um, and now our six gum is together again. So, uh, so, but we gotta do a second one so he's on screen with us throughout the film. Not just for one scene, you know, like throughout, throughout. Were you guys able to make any type of a cast pilgrimage to go see him in person? I know it's, it's, it's an intense recovery. It is an intense recovery and we're in groups. So like, you know, these three go now or that person can go next Saturday or these two can go. Um, and it's a little easier to handle the size, you know, especially you don't want to take too much time away from rehab. You know, it's like, but he is amazing and he's so like, Kicking the shit out of us. So, yeah. It's a good thing. It's a good thing.
thing. That's cheap. That's the cheap. Will we see some more of her personal life? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Yes, the um I, we were talking about it in the panel and I was thinking about this, uh yes. We do. That when and obviously the script the script needed to make some changes once um once Tim happened. Uh and but there was stuff that was already in place. There was just minor adjustments we had to make. So Steve and James they took these characters in, like they made them even more well-rounded. They're more three-dimensional than they were for, what, eight years, you know? Um, so we do get to see a different side of the Chief that I hadn't seen, you know, even then. Um, that makes me want to come back. I think all of us said it, like, even talking with Maggie, she's like, I never got to have this kind of conversation. And we're like, you're right, we never did. This is... So they were thinking, and it's not just doing the same stuff over and over again. There's stuff for the fans that is wonderful. But I think the fans will even like where the characters go in the end to keep it going. Because you have to breathe new life. You're not going to put, like, a baby or a dog into the mix to, like, breathe new life into the sitcom. You better you better flesh out these characters. And they did. So it's exciting. It's exciting. It's fun. I have a feeling there's no baby or dog. <laughs> I've given too much away. <laughs> like, where's Steve? He's going to let me know. Oh, dang it. Uh, yes, there's no puppy, even though Maggie probably wanted to bring her dog to the set uh, with her foundation. So, no baby, no dog. I know, spoilers. Those are big spoilers. Yeah, bring them in. So, <laughs> don't tweet that out. <laughs> I think one of the panel, too, they were saying, when they showed the full opening clip, like, make sure you're not recording this. I'm like, oh, we're at Comic Con. You know, you walk into the panels and people are like, you know, so, who cares? It's out there. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what can be really spoilers anymore, anyway. When the reunion came up, were you happy to, to go back? And Loved it. When we started hearing like little murmurs that you guys are doing a movie again, I said, right, of course we are. Um, I'll believe it when I see it because we've had some wonderful conversations for two years about getting back together to do a movie. Um, and something always fell apart, or fell through, something like that. So once we were all finally in Vancouver, back on set, and the fact that we had um, a lot of our same crew, like the same camera operators were behind the camera, our same DP, director of photography, was in charge of us, the same wardrobe person was there. Um, that really brought it home that we're home. And it really was like, even though we were at a different location, some of these sets were not familiar at all, because we couldn't go back to the psych office. You know, we couldn't go back to the SVPD. We couldn't go back to the chief's office. Um, so locations were all new, which kind of kept it fresh for all of us because we we're like on our toes. Of like, how did we do this? You can't fall back into old habits. You have to move forward. Um, but being with everybody again, it was like, oh yeah, I remember that. This is easy. This is easy. It's very familiar, and it was like coming home. So it was good. And then the wackiness ensued, and there were late nights over steak and seafood towers. Uh, but yeah, so it was good. It was really, really good. I hope you guys like it. I hope the fans like it. You know, like sure. but, uh, you guys don't have to admit to watching it. It's okay. That's okay. Oh, we'll watch it. It's absolutely happening, right? We talk about the new setting a lot. We've heard that a lot. But on the show, it took some time for the to kind of run the show. Uh, that's, a, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Um, spoiler! Uh, I probably could tell you that Sean has taken this case on his own. So this is a case that he's working on and it kind of involves the SFPD, but it is not an SFPD sanctioned case. And uh, 
we all kind of get a little tangled into his world. Um, and and I know that they've sent out that first little picture of all of us, you know, oh, it's nighttime, we're very dramatic, we're on the docks. <laughs> We're in peril. I was like, what am I doing with my hands? Like, Why am I doing this? Um, but when we come together as a group, they'll, we have each other's backs. It didn't matter whose case it was or who's involved with it. Now you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. And that's where Zach Levi does not know our strength. So that's what's happening there. No. Oh, look at there. There she is. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs>